Yo guys, 2K3 here. Welcome to Golf Plus. We got a very special uh, event going on presented by Golf Plus. Now this did start uh, last Thursday. It is currently uh, Monday the 24th of July. But I figure we'll start off on this menu screen so I can show you guys the VR FedEx Playoffs. Ah uh, yes, welcome to the first ever VR FedEx Cup playoffs you've seen on TV. Now live it in VR. The winner of the six-week event will win a VIP experience through a real-life 2024 PGA Tour event. During weeks one through three, we will collect qualifying points by completing tournament rounds and finishing in the top 500 of each event. Top 500 players with the most qualifying points at the end of week three move on to the playoffs. And you can see TPC Scottsdale, Pebble Beach Week 2, Sawgrass Week 3. <laughs> Playoffs will take place in Weeks 4 through 6. The top 500 qualifiers will compete to make the cut each week until the Tour Championship at East Lake Golf Club. So you can see Southwind, New Club there, and uh, of course East Lake Golf Club. I forget what this one's called, Quest? I can't remember. But yeah, why don't we continue on over? So you can only select one difficulty. So once you pick the difficulty, you're locked in. So that's definitely nice. So confirm your choice. You select the pro. Once you start, you'll only be able to compete in pro events for the playoffs. All right. And now that we have that set up, you can see our leaderboard in here. And hopefully from here on out, we'll have the weekly tournaments after this finishes. Everything will be through the headset, no more links for me to click offline, but why don't we go on and get started. Uh, so yeah, TPC at Scottsdale, easy, easy uh, pin location, middle tee boxes, so white tees, moderate wind speeds, fast greens. Alright guys, welcome back, we are loaded on in. The screen looks very nice, so why don't we just recap uh, our round settings, this is, is what we'll be doing for... Uh, the tournament here pretty much what we do every single weekly so first of four rounds fast green speed middle white tee position easy pin placement moderate speed wins so right in that what nine to twelve mile an hour range so why don't we go on ahead get the round officially started and see what we can do so first hole 356 yard par four uh, very slight uphill. Yeah, going into the winds should be a good way to start the round, right? A little right, but should be okay. Probably in the rough, but oh, uh, that's not where I want to be. 255 on the drive, 112 to go. Gonna go eight since we're in the sand. Turn a little to the right. Just hope this isn't too much club. Oh, it's good distance. I just did not aim that in the right spot at all. You know we're on with the birdie chance. It's quite a ways away, 24 foot-ish. It's going to be turning left as it goes down the hill. It's almost a foot downhill it's got to go. So 24-3, 8 tenths downhill. Oh, get in. What a start! Hold on, that, that's, didn't mean to go into big mode, I was just trying to stop it. Oh my gosh. Starting off with a bang already. The reed. Alright. Set on to the second hole, par 4, 389 yards. Pretty dang straight. And we get the wind help this time, so. A 
Oh, that pushed right. Please stay in bounds. Oh, it's not where I wanted it to go. Uh, okay. So I guess we're shooting three from here. It's calling it concrete. That's weird. I'm gonna pull out an eight just in case. No, I'm gonna hit nine. Because you know, if it's saying it's concrete, it'll play like fairway. We're just gonna go with it, right? I went way to the right. Got the right distance. But, uh, oh man. It's flying way off. 23 yards left. It's gonna run downhill to uphill. Man, I'm really pushing all of these right now. So that's not a good thing. I think we're looking at bogey here, so. It's pretty straight, honestly. Just under eight. Slight uphill. All right. Good, good putt. We'll take it. We need to stay away from those bad fades that we're getting. Third hole, par five, 524. That's what we want to see off the tee. Right in the middle of the fairway, 250. Yeah, it was 252 on the carry, it said. Keep rolling. Very nice, 302 with 224 to go. We're actually shooting a three iron here. You know, I do actually like this, so. Just gonna hope it gets some really good roll. Oh no. No, that's OB again. Oh. 2K, we do not want to be doing this. All right, so that's concrete. So we're gonna trust it like it's concrete. Front foot pitching wedge, take a little off. Wonder if I'm picking my head up too fast. See, I'm getting the right distance. It's just going way off to the right. So this is the par. Chipping for par. Wow. Uh, edge of the green is about 10 yards. Flows down, so. Oh. A little bit too far. This putt doesn't look bad, though. It's uphill. Pushing left, pushing right. I'm pretty sure I could... Aim that right at the center and be fine. Nine three. Wow, that was a full 180. Oh, that's a really unfortunate double. All right, we can pick it up here though. Fourth hole, par three. 141 into the wind. So nine iron, little towards the front. Fade back to the right a little. So we're right around the distance, but did not necessarily want that where I wanted it to be. So it's gonna be turning right, going down the hole here. 27 to one tenth up. I don't think it's going to turn as much as I think it will, though. Especially with how far apart those lines are. Oh, it's not hit hard enough. That had the line, actually. Believe it or not. Alright, good par. Good par. Still two over. Fifth hole, par four. 430 yards. 
distance to bunker 230, mid 230, so. Got the wind helping us this time. Good shot. Far away from that bunker. Gladly take that. Keep rolling. Keep going. Oh, yeah. 312? 312. All right. We got 118 left to go. So here's the conundrum. We got the wind at our back. It's got to go uphill. Very slight. Still don't think sandwich is going to be enough, but... Pitching wedge, I might put it past, so front foot, get it up in the air, take a little off. Oh, cook right there. Uh, no backspin at all, that was actually, flew that past. It's really unfortunate, that was such a good shot. Seven yards, so I'll just get a... Flip this on about there and let it roll. Get in. Oh. That would have been a nice birdie. That would have been a nice birdie. A nice little tapping. We'll gladly take that. On to the six hole, par four, 373 yards. Turns left after the bunkers. Bunkers. Oh man, that's... Okay, let's just uh, try to see if we can get over those bunkers, I guess, right? Oh, it's a line drive right into them. I'll hit the rough around. And some different sand it went. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Okay. Oh, it's actually saying it's concrete from here. So... 129, very slight up. Should just be a regular pitching wedge swing, I would think, right? A little right, but it's okay. It's fading more, but that should be on the dance floor. Oh yeah, we got we got a tremendously long putt, 53.8, and not much change for elevation in total. It does go up and down a hill though. It's pretty much pushing off that whole way. Okay. So really, we want to make sure we get it close. Don't want to hit too far. Bonus if it goes in, but no, that's that was well short. 5.6, we'll take that. Would have liked it a little closer, but... I can complain too much. Oh, and I pushed it. I pushed that putt really, really bad. That was unfortunate. All right, on to the seventh hole. Par three, 184. It's playing uphill, going into the wind. And yeah, we're just gonna keep the six iron, I think. Pulled it. Oh. I'm getting the distance. Just my my accuracy is so bad right now. So 24 away. It's about 19 to the to the fringe at least. That's a little too far. Bite. It's not biting. Okay. Well at least the hill kind of helped. But we still got 12 feet to putt. It's going to be turning slight left at the end. I feel like I can mainly hit the straight. Turn! Oh, if I took a little off. If I had taken a little off, that might have been good. But you know, we're not in terrible shape right now. Eighth hole, we're four over. Par four. 417 yards. Got two fairway bunkers to watch out for. Other than that, this shouldn't be too bad. Oh, until I push fade it. 
Uh, well, at least it's not sand. It's considered rough here. So we got six iron, 172 downhill from rough. Yeah, so definitely need to go a club. Pull that one again, huh? Hmm. Oh, so that got really short, so. Well, we're looking at a birdie opportunity, possibly. 36 footer, turning a lot to the right. It's got a little bit of uphill it's got to contend with. Just making sure I can actually see the cup, which I barely can. I aimed it way too far left. Overhit it just a little, but it's in the flat part for the most part. Seven footer, this should be, this should be like straight in, I feel like. Oh no, it turned! Oh, that, that was not a good three. <laughs> oh gosh, all right. I need a good approach shot. That's really what I need to kind of get out of this funk. Ninth hole, par four, 389. Can we do it here? That's that's gonna be the question, right? Uh, that's going towards the bunker, get over. Okay, at least got over. That's why I like using the map. You can at least see if it gets over certain things. I don't like being in the air. All right, so what we got? 115 from the rough. Uh, so, little forward in my stance, not too, too far. There we go. Very nice. Finally, we had a decent shot here. So, again, the putt, 17-3, it's going to go uphill. It's left to right. So I wonder if I aim right at the pin, would that be enough? Might be a slight, slight left. Turn. Good. Nice birdie. That's the way to end out front nine there. All right, so after nine, shooting four over. To the 10th, par four, dog leg right, 371 yards. Do get the win to help us a bit. Uh, this is an interesting one. Whoop. Hit the wrong thing. Because. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's just straighten my room. I want to try to aim it a little bit more left than it wants me to. Alright. Oh, that went way further left and no. No fade at all. Oh gosh. Whoo. Rough shot here. 147 from the rough. Gotta get over a bunker. Uphill. This should be fine though, right? It's right on it. Get over the bunker, please. Oh my gosh, that just barely made it over. I think I'm... Do I want to go for a chip or... Pop? I want to go for a chip here. Because all I'm going to do is just scoop it like so. Six yards. Left a pin, it's going to turn right. Uh, not enough. It's okay. Get the par putt. And we'll just be on our way. Just like that. All right, 11th hole, par four, 411 yards. Only thing is just keep it away from the left, which we've been fine with so far, I feel. What a liner of a shot. Oh no. No, I had to jinx it. I can't believe that man. Oh, I'm mad at myself. All right, so third shot. 
Looking at 162, so this is perfect. Eight iron distance. It is staying slightly uphill, but we'll see what we can do. Short, it's on. Man, that's a repeat of the last hole. So right, then it changes to left. It's gonna go uphill. It's just under 25. So if anything, I feel like slight right on the aim. But even then, I probably should just go straight at it. Up, oh, turning left at the end there. It was sh short on pace anyway, so it's okay. No, for penalty st stroke on that hole, that's that that's not the worst bogey to take. Uh, Twelfth hole, par three, one sixty. What do we got? We got eleven mile an hour wind. It's going downhill. I'm actually gonna pull out the nine and see what. We can get distance wise with this, I think. Oh, it's right on it. Oh, the seven and a half feet. How nicely was that done? Uh, yeah, that is pretty flat. Slight left turn. I hit it way too hard and I pushed it. Oh my god, talk talk about letting a birdie go to waste. Literally the definition. Alright, 13th hole, par 5, 506 yards. We can definitely birdie this one. Good start there. That should be right on the fairway. Left side. Yeah, get some good roll there. Get some good roll. 288, 223 to go. It's going to bring us a three iron shot here. And it's saying slightly uphill. Hmm. Well, it's playing safe at least. We are in the green. Oh my gosh, we <laughs> we're looking at a 66 footer for eagle. Oh god, how does this putt look? Right to left. You gotta go 1.2 uphill. All right. So I think if anything, I'm aiming to the right, very slightly. It's gonna go up a bit of a hill. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down, stop, stop. Oh, that was that was a terrible touch. We're off the green. Okay. So this is gonna be for birdie. May as well just try to chip it back on. My touch is just so good with those super short chips. So, good par. Should have should have been a birdie, honestly. I did not get that pace correct at all. 14th hole, par four, 410 yards. Yeah, if we just aim right over the bunker, that should be a good spot. Yeah, that's gonna be right side of the fairway. All right, turn. We're good. 137 after 297 drive. Eight foot uphill though. Uh, do I try to take a slack nine? I think just because it's uphill that much, I'm gonna play the nine a little more forward, get up in the air just a little bit more.
Good distance. Great distance. All right, 16 four to go. Turns left to right, going uphill. Uh, really, if anything, I feel like if I just aim for it, I'm getting a lot of these mixed reads where I'm like, I feel like if I just aim for center, I should be okay. So let's just keep trusting, all right? Too hard, pushed it. Ah, it's okay, we got par. 15th hole, par five. 480 when pushing to right side of fairway um, that's like car path right, just keep keep riding that car path that's fine all right 265 on the drive but this gives us a really interesting second shot uh, we get 224 to go and cross here to a five. If I do that, that'll definitely get across. But the other option is just take it safe. I may as well just take it safe here for now. I was actually on the fairway, zero questions about it. That's perfectly fine. We got 60 yards from the rough. Lobbage. Oh yeah, the 5.9 feet for a birdie chance. I think we made the right decision there, that's for sure. Turning left, 10th uphill. Hey, there we go. How close can we get back to even? 133 yard, par three, 16th hole, the party hole. Let's try to give these fans something to cheer about, right? Oh, that's right. I'm very short. No, why'd you backspin into the, no. That's not what I wanted to do. 18 yards. Ugh. The touch on that. Shot from the bunker though. Wow. I will say that's probably one of the better shots I've had today. All right, so turning slight right. Five footer. Got the par. All right. Don't fall for this trap. Don't fall for this trap. 301 yards. I always roll it off the back of the green when, when we're this distance. So 301, going three wood. Just taking it safe. Uh, it should be fine. There we go. Okay, now here's where the real fun begins. We got 46 yards. And the thing is, once we get to around that sand pit, so it's about 36, 37 yards, this one starts going back downhill, so. Oh, wow, that really uh, did not roll like I thought it would. It's a long birdie opportunity. Slight downhill. It's what, 23, 22, 23 footer? I want to say it was like 23, 4, it said. About 3, 4 tenths downhill, turning very slight left as it goes. 23, 2. All right. Uh, not the right pace, and I needed more right on the aim. Not 
Not bad. We'll take another par. Alright, let's finish it off on the 18th. Let's see if we can get a birdie to end here. 399 yard par for 18th. Nope. Get over the first bunker right in between the two. Thank you. Oh, I do not want to be shooting from the bunkers, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, 156. It was already giving me an eight. But I think I need seven, especially where it's uphill. And we're into the wind. Yeah, seven. Definitely. Oh, that's a pull and a half. I think I was on a little bit of a hill and I didn't account for it. Oh, that's that's not good at all. Third shot, we got 41 yards, but we do have that hill. Which, really, it's only for one side, but... If I can aim for that area, it's what, another 33, 34 yards. Okay. I mean, I'm hitting my... Targets, 4.3 to go, look at that. Well, not ending with the birdie, but we could end with nice par save, 4.3, slight right turn. Oh, I knew it when I hit it. Oh, it's so unfortunate. So five over to end the round. We get points for the qualifier. Oh, we get some nice badges. Very nice touch there. Got to 41. Very nice. Credits a new putter and new shaft. All right, let's take a look at the scorecard. Uh, so our stats, our tee shots were atrocious. That's something I got to work on, definitely. Green side was the best. Everything else was positive. I don't know how the approaches were positive, but... Uh, so, taking a look at our round stats, 5 out of 14 fairways. We hit 10 out of 18 greens, so that, that could be why that was pretty high. 31 putts, we started off great and kind of lost it, but I mean, that front nine was atrocious. The fact that I was able to battle back from that, such a good thing. Uh, so yeah, our best putt was that, <laughs> best shot was the first putt of the round to start off with the birdie. Only one other shot over one. Uh, worst shots. We did have two penalty strokes, three penalty strokes. So that was extremely unfortunate. Oh man, that lost me t almost two and a half strokes. All right, guys. Well, thank you everybody who watched up to this point. I do sincerely appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next round of the FedEx Cup. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.